Hey guys, this is Jessica and welcome back to my channel. So I am here with another makeup tutorial using the Alter Ego Temptress palette. Now this look, I have used only the matte colors in it just because... I like everything matte, <laughs> so I thought it would be cool to use those colors. And this is the look I came up with. I really, really like it. It's very warm, sultry, smoky. It's basically me in an eyeshadow palette. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy this look and everything that I have put on my face, I will have in the description box down below if you want to check it out. I also do have a code that you can use with Alter Ego where you save 10% on your order and I'm not sure if they still have the free shipping and the two free brushes that you get with it, but definitely go check out their website. If you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, and if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and don't forget to click the bell right next to it to get notified of whenever I post new videos. Also, if you want to add me on social media, you are more than welcome to. Everything is down in the description box below. So let's get going on this beautiful makeup tutorial, guys. First, we're going to start with our foundation. And the foundation we are using today is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Foundation. I have mine in L60. <laughs> going to do is I'm just going to put on my Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Plumper because my lips need all the help that they can get. <laughs> so next we are doing the dreaded eyebrows. I hate doing my eyebrows because you can see they're so uneven and I'm trying to grow this one out so I can shape it more like this one but <sighs> everyone knows. If you have watched my channel for a while, you know my brows are a struggle. But for my brows today, I am going to be using the NYX Precision Brow Pencil, and I have mine in the color Espresso. as these brows are going to get today. I'm going to be trying a new concealer. I have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer and I have mine in Fair 8. This is probably a little bit more light than what I should wear, but uh, you know, we're going to make it work. <laughs> going to take my Wet n Wild palette and I have mine in number 749A which is the De Leche one. So I'm going to take this banana looking powder right here and I'm just going to pack it where we did our concealer. And now we're just going to take the bronzer and we are going to bronze up our face. going to take a clean fluffy brush and we're just going to blend out all of the bronzer that we put on our face. So now to contour our nose I'm going to take this little mermaid brush right here and how I like to contour my nose is I just like to follow uh, the corner of my eye down. <laughs> to do underneath the nostrils. Then I'm going to take this Real Technique setting brush and just buff out our nose contour. So now I'm going to take this ColourPop blush right here. This is in the color Bar Hopping, so I'm just going to take a little bit of it. But then I'm going to take this NARS blush, which is Orgasm. <laughs> 
my boyfriend's gonna have a field day with that name. <laughs> and we're just going to put a little bit on the cheeks. Then what I like to do is I get my press powder, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless um, powder. And I have mine in number 120, which is Classic Ivory. This technique is called veiling, so it's just supposed to give your face a really beautiful veil look. It kind of tones down um, the contour that we did and the blush that we did. You don't have to do this. I know a lot of people don't like to put powder on top of powder, but I just, I, I like to do this. <laughs> I have you know my powder products on my face I'm just gonna take my setting spray and just gonna set my face before we start doing our eyeshadow this is the morphe setting spray it smells so freaking good so the eyeshadow palette that we are using today is the alter ego temptress palette this is a really beautiful palette it is a dupe for the anastasia beverly hills sultry palette this is only 16 dollars now i do have a code that you can use with alter ego and you can save 10 percent on your order and i don't know if they are still doing this but <laughs> they were doing free shipping and also you would get two free makeup brushes with this. I don't know if they're still doing it, but definitely go check out their website and see if they are because that's a pretty good freaking deal. I'm gonna take this color right here, which is called Lace, and I am just going to put it all over my eyelid. So this is the next color I am gonna use right here. This is called Lust, and it's kind of like a camel brown kind of color. And I'm gonna take it on this Alter Ego blending brush. <laughs> and we are just going to rock it back and forth in our crease. I'm also gonna bring it down to my outer V. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pink beautiful blush color right here which the name of it is called blush and on the same brush I'm just going to take a little bit of it and I'm just going to kind of like overlap it with the color that we just put down. take that clean fluffy brush and just blend out our edges so now I'm gonna take this brown color right here which is called after hours and I just have it on a small little detail brush so I'm just going to concentrate this on our outer V about halfway into the crease. I'm gonna take that clean fluffy brush and just do a little bit more blending. So now what I'm gonna do is the two colors that we put in our crease, I'm just going to go back and forth, mix them together, and we're just gonna go back over. So now what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna do my eyeliner. This is from LA Splash Cosmetics and it is just their Architect Slim Eyeliner. gonna pop on my lashes and the ones I am using today are from Kiss Lash Couture. These are from the Naked Drama collection which is a new collection and I have mine in the one Organza and I really like them because they're short lashes. They're not really long and I don't know I just thought they look really pretty. Look something like I would wear. So I am just going to pop these on and we will be right back to finish up everything. Alright guys, so I have these lashes on and let me just say, these are the most comfortable lashes 
I have ever worn. So the band on these lashes is really thin. It is a very, very flexible and I am so impressed with these lashes. Now, they're only maybe about half an inch longer than my real lashes, but they are just so comfortable. So this is just a gel eyeliner, so I'm gonna put it in my waterline. This is from Essence, I think it was like 99 cents. wanted to put a shimmer on your eyelids you totally could do that but I kind of just want to do a matte look with this eyeshadow palette today. So I'm just going to take this e.l.f. eyeliner definer brush and I'm going to go in with that brown color that we put on our outer crease which is called after hours and I'm just going to put it as close to my bottom lash line as possible. Now this is my aesthetic and this is what I like to do. I always like a grunged out smoke look, but you definitely do not have to do this. Do whatever is your style. take this small elf shader brush and I'm gonna get that blush color and we are just going to smoke out our bottom lash line so for our highlight we are using the Ofra Nikki Tutorials highlighter Everglow I'm just gonna take this peachy color right here we use ColourPop Matte Lipstick in the shade Times Square. So this is our finished look right here using the Temptress palette. I really hope that you enjoy this tutorial and if you do give me a thumbs up or leave a comment down below and thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one guys. Bye!